going to the edge. One, two, three. Ooh. We want everyone to have fun. We want them to enjoy the river as much as we do. You guys okay? It's just the two of you? On the Bow River at about Center Street, uh, we just uh, assisted an overturned Where vessel. We got all the parties accounted for. We're just going to get them to shore. Uh, they're pretty cold. We want to make sure they're safe. Marine One Dispatch. Marine One, go ahead. Marine One, we've just launched. Can you show us out patrol on the Bull River? We want to see people out on the river enjoying themselves. Ultimately, we want to see them doing that safely. Thanks for wearing your life jackets, first of all. You actually got to have them all done up for it to count. Okay. Especially today, the river is really, really high today. Okay, okay. Um, and it's really cold water, which is awful. Yeah. But. So I just want to make sure you guys have all your Transport Canada equipment with you as well. Do you guys have a bailing bucket? Yeah, do. It's fine. And it's always a good idea to pop it open, make sure that everything's in there, and then... Uh, perfect. So you got a throw rope, there's a whistle in there, and a flashlight. So on most boats that will use the Bow River, uh, people need one, at least a life jacket or a PFD for each person on the boat. They got to be the proper size for them. Uh, the water safety bylaw says that you have to wear it at all times on the boat, so they always have to be wearing their PFDs. Additionally, most boats are going to require a bailing bucket that's pretty close to about a liter in volume. Uh, 15 meters of buoyant line, which just means a you know, about 50 feet of rope that floats, and then a sound, uh, a mechanical sound signaling device. So a whistle, a peeless whistle or an air horn, something like that. And if you're out at night, you need a, a flashlight as well. And you guys have a 15 meter buoyant line. So basically 50 feet of rope that floats that's easily accessible. Yes. When you're looking at the, all the bridges on the river here and the currents flowing by them, uh, what a lot of people want to do is because they want to uh, tie the rafts together, have a big party island together, and one boat goes one way, one boat goes the other way around the, the bridge, and there's just so much force from the water, uh, it causes entrapment there, and with the current flows going around the bridge. A lot of people, when they flip their boats, their first reaction, especially against these pillars, and we have a lot of bridges on this river in Calgary, is to grab onto that pillar. We would prefer them actually to just keep floating, legs up, because this creates a huge, huge hazard. Please don't tie your rafts together. Avoid the bridges. We love this river. We love being out here. We want them to enjoy it as much as we do. We're not here to, you know, take away that enjoyment for them. We want them to have great stories and great memories out here. We love seeing the babies out here. We love seeing the puppies. So we want everyone to enjoy themselves. We're just here to make sure everyone is safe. Unfortunately, we've had to do several rescues this year already. Um, so we do want people to understand that, you know, things do happen and we're out here to um, avoid that. Um, but we're also out here to give them peace of mind.